What's going on, YouTube? Did you miss me? It's your guy, Mr. DCYLP. Now, you guys keep asking me questions about transfer sizing. All right, and I thought I already addressed that, but if it wasn't clear, I guess I gotta get back into it. But I'll do that right after my intro. guys keep asking uh, about sizing when it comes to these plastic saw transfers all right I touched on um, I touched on sizing um, in one of my old videos and I showed you guys I reference you know the CADWorks live software how if you go on the left tab it'll show you you know what size you should put on an adult large shirt or a children's small shirt or a medium shirt, blah, 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 jumbo image, so on and so forth. I'll, um, I'll add that once again to the video. But I say all that to say this. Well, if you guys just straight up ask me what size transfers I'm using, I don't know if that'll be beneficial to you guys sometimes. Sometimes it will. Maybe sometimes it won't because I size my... I get my transfers sized uh, basically per whatever design I'm making, all right? And as you should as well. And like I explained before to, to one of you guys in the comments that you guys gotta understand, I also make plus size garments as well, like sometimes all the way up to 5X. So I don't change up like an image like this, like I got this made via uh, PW Custom, all right? And this is just their standard 12 by 12. Now I know the image that I'm gonna put in that 12 by, that 12, by 12 workspace is gonna be good enough for a small, a medium, large, XL2, so on and so forth, all the way up to 5X, if I need it, you know, that, that, uh, that size. All right, so I say all that to say this. It's up to you, you know, not me, because I can tell you what size I'm using, and you might you might try that size, and it may not work for what you're trying to do. All right, your image might come out looking, uh, looking uh, stretched out or elongated, and it might not look the way you originally designed it, so... Then, you know, then you're going to be mad at me and say, oh, Mr. DCYLP said I should use this size. Well, no, I just answered your question. I just, you asked me what size I was using. I used for my design and I told you. I mean, that doesn't mean you should go ahead and use it. I mean, it just, it depends on what works for whatever particular design that you're coming up with. Okay. Now, there's some times where I got designs that are humongous that are like, uh, 14, 15 inches, you know, in width, you know, and, and it may be like 12 inches in height or 8 inches in height, but that's just me, that's just, that's how I design my work, and, you know, when I submit these, these, these uh, artworks to these transfer companies, I just know what size transfer they offer and if my art was going to fit in the allowed space that you know they offer okay so i mean there ain't no reason why this video should be all long and freaking uh over processed it, it is what it is it's not as difficult as some of you may think so before i end this joint make sure you guys hit that thumbs up make sure you hit that bell so every time i drop a new video you don't miss it Alright, obviously you guys out there working hard on your brands because I keep getting all these questions. Alright, so I wish everybody uh, nothing but the best, success, you know, keep holding your boy down. I appreciate it. And go out there and get it, man. Go out there and get it. Like I said before, I got some of the answers 
But I don't have all the answers. Alright? I just tell y'all what worked for me. Alright? It's up to you to choose your own path. Skip it. The message is always in the cloth, the colors, the designs, the fit. Basically, pay attention, stay alert, and remember, choose your own path.